Welcome. So, I thought we were done with part 10, but turns out I missed uh, just a couple decks. So this is going to be a very short part 11 of my tarot deck collection. I'm Meredith. I'm a certified hypnotist, spiritual life coach, and, uh, and this channel is all about tarot, oracle, and uh, empowering you. So, um, let's get started. So first, <clears throat> we have the Cthulhu Dark Arts Tarot. This was on Kickstarter. Um, and honestly, the, the Kickstarter really, <clears throat> excuse me, really left a kind of bad taste in my mouth. I think for a lot of people, um, it, it took a really long time to show up. Um, honestly, I kind of, um, written it off and it actually ended up going mass market way before anybody received their decks. Don't know what the mass market looks like, but these are, I mean, the backs are beautiful nice gilding. Um, I have not used this deck at all because again, um, I was so irritated. Um, by the time I finally got it, you know, I looked through it and I kind of put it away. So, um, hopefully It just needs, um, or I just need some, some time before I use it. Um, and that's happened with a, a few other decks, um, just because the, the process of getting them was less than positive. And, uh, I put them away and, and now I enjoy them. So hopefully... That will be my experience with this one. So I'm thinking maybe autumn. feels like an autumn deck. Um, you know, I, I don't want to get rid of it. Um, it's... It's really a lovely deck, honestly. Um, I do like the artwork. I really can't say how it reads because, again, I, I haven't used it at all. Like, not even just a quick... Um, yeah, I, I was really irritated by this Kickstarter. Um, but, it, but it did finally come. So, you know, also... There weren't a lot of updates, I think. Um, I could be misremembering that, but my recollection is that uh, the creators weren't really responsive and, and there weren't a lot of updates. Um, and it just, I don't know. It, you know, it's, it's funny how some decks creators managed to uh, produce them right away, even during the, the height of COVID. And then other ones can take over a year. And, uh, you know, and they blame it on COVID, but when so many others are managing, it kind of makes you wonder. Um, and I think that if it were me, I would be giving updates just to even say, look, nothing's changed, but I want you to understand I'm here and, um, you know, doing everything I can do. And I think that makes a big difference. Um, it does for me. And based on, on comments I've seen in other Kickstarters, I think it does for a lot of other people too. So if you are thinking about doing a Kickstarter, maybe keep that in mind. Just, you know, just talk to people. And I think most people understand that, you know, 
life can get in the way sometimes. But I do love the backs. So I'm, I'm not ready to use it right now. But I'm definitely not going to get rid of it either. And I think um, in the fall we can do... Oh, and, you know, just in case you want to see it, it is... Um, they are big cards. Where'd my card go? So, I mean, they're, they're pretty big. So you can see this is about a standard tower size. So significantly taller, a good bit wider as well. So... And, and the cards, I think they're a nice quality. I haven't even shuffled it. I mean, this, this is the um, strongest, less than positive response I've, I've had to any deck, honestly, like from a Kickstarter. Um, it just, yeah, I, I was really, really irked, honestly. But... A Kickstarter that um, was a was a wonderful experience. It's the Stone Visconti Tarot. Um, and just so if you can see that, it is a little dim in here. But I got to be honest, it is crazy hot, and this is very very early in the morning, and it's still hot already. So I'm, I'm hoping to get away with uh, limited lights. So I, I think these are picking up just fine. Beautiful, beautiful bags. Really nice cardstock. And I, I love the size. So significantly taller than your standard tarot and a good bit wider. So similar, I know, to, to the last one. But beautiful, beautiful colors. I mean, so lovely richness of the images. Now this isn't a deck that I use all the time. It's, it's not my style of deck for that. But I really like it, and, and I really appreciate the, the quality and um, the beauty, because it is, it is beautiful. Um, I have to be in the mood for it, you know, for this type of deck. Um, look at the horse's faces. But when I am, I mean, it's, it's really lovely. So, and it, it shuffles really, really nicely. And it's, it's really a lovely deck. I'm, I'm really glad that I have it. Again, it, it's kind of an occasional use for me. Um, but, and you're probably not going to be able to see, well, maybe, let's say. So you can see how it kind of looks. That is a little dim, but I'll take her out of the shadow. Um, but it it really is such a nice, nice feeling deck, you know, and. Uh, yeah it's it's really nice I'm glad I have it I don't need to use it all the time to enjoy it you know what I mean um, so yeah and I, I love the way it feels um, I honestly have no idea if this is still available um, again it, it was Kickstarter but um, you know, a lot of times with Kickstarters, they, oh. So there were 750 made. Um, that's a great number. I don't know how many were, um, were, 
were specifically backed and purchased, you know, a lot of times they'll, uh, you know, say if a hundred people back uh, a deck, they might make 200 copies. You know, I don't know the details for that. Um, next, so these are two decks by the same creator. So we're gonna start with this one and I am going to completely bastardize the name. You know what? I'm probably going to have to turn the light on for this. Give me a super quick sec. I apologize. I thought I could get away with it. But this deck is a little darker. And I want to make sure you can see it. Um, so yeah, I'm gonna, it's still, it's hard to, I don't know what that, what's that shadow? What is going on? Um, so anyway, this is Dear Maison Tarot. Um, now I think... I think for this deck, I think I rounded the edges and I and I edged it in black. So those are the backs. Now this is a really, really interesting deck. Really enjoy it. Um, it definitely has that sort of. Um, dreamy feel which I like and the um, the different suits have that you know that the coloring of the suits um, just kind of lends power to the the feeling of the elements um, it's a really, really nice deck. Um, I go through spurts with it. Sometimes I use it a great deal. And then it'll sit for a while, and then I'll come back to it. Um, but it's, it's really nice. It's really nice to shuffle. It's, it's a thinner cardstock, but it's super flexible. You know, it'll, it'll return, um, so, like, I ruffle shuffle it, no problem. Um, this is one that I, I just keep to myself. I don't read for others with it. Um, I guess I could, but it, it can have a sort of, um, darker vibe. But really nice it's really unique and actually um, I found this deck because I was looking for the next deck but that was sold out at the time what's this doing there? Um, and uh, the creator said well you know I have this other deck because I messaged her to ask about um, you know when it was coming back if it Look at the strength. Oh. Um, so, I happily bought this one to hold me over while I was waiting for the next one. And I really enjoy it even more than I expected. Love him. Um, so yeah, it's a, it's a really nice, really different deck. Look at this. So, and I really enjoy it. And the cards just move beautifully. They just glide. Um, so yeah, I really, really like it. And it, it comes with um, little fold outs. So there's the, there's the name. 
Dear Maison. I I mean that's my that's my best uh, attempt, and it's probably really bad. So I apologize. Um. So then. Now this, this really is the last tarot deck, I think. It, I'm pretty sure. Um, although I do have some more coming. So this is uh, Taroki de Connexion. And again, I am terrible with, with the pronunciation. So now this one, and again, it, it comes with, you know, the foldouts. This one I need to round. I haven't. So this will this will show you um, kind of how they both came like this um, with a pointy. Let's see, like that pointy unfinished um, edges. So these are the backs. And this is just a very evocative deck. Um, I think it's got very powerful imagery. And, um, I mean, for me, this is a deck that, that is, is really just an intuitive reader. Um, it's not to say that there aren't um, good use of, of symbols and things like that, um, but it just, there's something very primal about this deck. And, uh, and it just speaks so, so clearly and powerfully. Um, and I really like look at this. I really like the way you can feel the elements in the cards. I just think it's really, um, really clear. So and then we move. It's just, you know, I. The use of color, of course, but also the the imagery used um, really you can kind of feel that. So, like, let me just pull. So, I mean, at at an easy glance, you can tell. Look at this. You can tell what, uh, what to, I mean, obviously there's a huge symbol too, but <laughs> I, I don't, without even looking at details, you know, you can see move these guys. You can see the, the elements and, and kind of get a feel for them, or at least I can, um, and I really like that. You know, I'm, I'm all about feeling. What do I feel? And um, I think this is just a really, really good deck for that. <laughs> it's just... It's just a really enjoyable, really enjoyable deck. Um, and one day, I will get around to... Um, rounding the, the edges and I might uh, I probably won't trim it but uh, and then edging it but you know so many decks so little time um, but it is you know and, and it's I think the same card stuck as the other and they both do shuffle really nicely um, I think uh, I think once the edges are rounded, it'll shuffle better. Um, that was my experience with the other deck, anyway. Um, and maybe that's just, you know, my imagination, but it just seems to be the case. Um, 
but yeah so this is uh Tarochi di Conacion. Um, I did see on her Instagram that, that this deck is still available. I have no idea about this one. I think it comes and goes. Um, but, um, I, you know, I would, if, if it doesn't seem to be available, if you're interested, I would reach out to the creator and I think she will let you know, you know, and, and maybe be able to give you a, a time frame if it's not there. So, this really does conclude my, uh, 2022 tower deck collection. Um, like I said, I, I do have some more decks coming, um, but I'll, I'll do them as, as maybe unboxings or, or walkthroughs. Um, next, I am going to begin my Oracle deck collection, which it's, it's kind of big. Um, I, I think it's smaller than my tarot, but maybe not by a whole lot. Um, and also my Lenormand and, and other cards that don't quite fit into any category. So, um, please like, share, and subscribe because every single one makes a wonderful difference. And remember to hit that bell so you get alerted when I post new videos. And until next time, just be good to yourself because you deserve it. And you deserve only the best, all the best.